Faced with rising inflation, experts at the 2024 Mid-Year Economic Review organized by the Lagos Chamber of Commons and Industry have stressed the need for Nigeria to boost real sector production. This includes increasing food output to curb food inflation, as well as manufacturing more goods for exports to earn foreign currency. Plus TV correspondent Love Oyedekun was there and now reports. The Mid-Year Economic Review an Outlook is an annual event designed to assess key policy developments and microeconomic performance in the first half of the year. During the event, speakers provided an in-depth analysis of various economic issues, their implications for businesses, households, and the country's overall economic outlook. The president of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Gabriel Idahosa, said the Nigerian economy faced significant microeconomic handwings and high uncertainties in the first half of 2024. The conclusion we can see from this statistics is that we need to boost non oil real sector production to produce more food, cooperating with inflation, and manufacture goods for exports to significantly end foreign exchange. In his keynote address, Bismarck Rewani, CEO of a financial derivatives company, examined policy options for the government and emerging business opportunities. Discussions on Nigerian's economic performance and outlook of the oil and gas industry also took center stage. If you look at your total production in Nigeria, which at that yesterday the NUPL system were now 1.1 million four hundred barrels, 1.4 million barrels per day. If you look at your total production divided by your population, what are they come to? Compared to Saudi Arabia, Kuwait. Canada, just name it. So if you take that number, so as a, as a country, the number is big, but on the basis of your population, if you have to share that oil to everybody, we may not be as rich as we think we yeah. are. If manufacturing is going to solve most of the problem we have, we must be deliberate and intentional about it. And that means, like I told them in Jonathan's government, I sat there for three months as an advisor. I said, if we are to be the first doctor in Nigeria, it shouldn't be to be the road to my village because I'm an advisor to the president. It should be that we be the road to my village because of the economic value that it brings to Nigeria. CFT is something we're seeing Nigeria take very seriously now. We've seen the shadows, we've seen the indicators in the past few months. So that's one of the indicators I'm saying makes me feel very positive about the outlook by the end of the year. And then again, I'll still refer to electricity. We've improved on our electricity. If we've improved on our electricity supply, our generation and distribution, it automatically means more production. It automatically means people will be able to manufacture more. And if you manufacture more, it transcends to your economy, it transcends to prosperity for the people. Despite the country's unfavorable economic trajectory and outlook, the World Bank's June 2024 Global Economic Prospects GEP report projects Nigeria's economy to grow by 3.3% in 2024 and 3.5% in 2025, instilling hope among participants for an economic rebound before the year end. Love Uyudukun. Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification.